A very warm good morning to everybody. I am Navya Bifnoi, a student of class 9C and today I am going to tell the story of a great Kargil war hero which is Captain Vikram Batra. So let's start from where he was born. He was born in a small town of Palampur on 9th of September 1974. He was the third child of Mr. Girdhari Lal Batra and Mrs. Kamal Kanta Batra. Now let's start with the education. He started his education in the DAV school. After that, to complete his secondary education, he went to the Central School in Palampur. After completing his 12th boards from there, he went to the DAV College. And after completing all his necessary education, he went to the Indian Military Academy in 1996. After completing the training from there, he, com he got commissioned into the 13th Battalion Jammu and Kashmir Rifles, where he earned great respect among his peers. Why? Because he had commendable leadership skills and had determination towards his work. Now let's talk about his military career. After completing his training, he got graduated from the IMA in 1997. And after that, he got commissioned as a lieutenant in the Indian Army. After that, to complete his regimental training, he was sent to Jawalpur. And after completing all that things, he got his first posting in Sopor, Jammu and Kashmir. Now he wanted to get the highest military grade. So for that, he, do, he did the commando course in Karnataka. And after that, he got the highest military grade, which is the instructor's grade. Now, because of his commendable job, he was sent to Shah Jahanpur, Uttar Pradesh. But because of the outbreak of the war in Tral, he was sent there. He made last call to his parents on 29th of June 1999, in which he said not to worry about him. From the role of lieutenant, he rose to the role of captain. How impressive, right? Now let's talk about the Kargil War, which is very famous among all of us. So it started in the month of May and in the year 1999 when the Pakistani soldiers and militants infiltrated into the Indian side of the line of control. Now, by seeing all that and the major problem was that they were able to control these uh, major highways and supply lines. Now, by seeing all that, Indian military launched Operation Vijay, in which their main motive was to get back the prominent peaks in Kargil district which were captured by the Pakistani soldiers. Some major battles in this war were the capture of point 5140 and the capture of point 4875. Now let's talk about them briefly. The capture of point 5140, which is the first victory. So Vikram Batra was assigned to lead his troop to the point 5140, which was 17,000 feet above the ground level. Because of the adverse conditions, it was very tough to capture that. But still, Vikram Batra's critical leadership, bravery and courage made us win that battle. Now let's listen what he said after the capture of point 5140. Bravo Company's success signal way aya, which was passed to our CEO Colonel Joshi on the radio set. After that, another bunker was captured. The my company's success signal was Yidil Magebo. The guys were so highly charged up that they are wanting that some more bunkers should have been there and we would have got the more chap. Now the other one is the capture of point 4875. It was the ultimate sacrifice. Because of the success in the first one, he was assigned again to go to the point 4875 this time, which was 16,000 feet above the ground level. It was more tough to capture because of the Pakistani militants fortified bunkers and they were entrenched at the top so that they were able to see the Indian military coming from the below. But still, we were able to capture that. It is so, such a proud moment for us. Now, let's see the flag hosting at the point 4875. Now, let's see what is the impact of his victory. The impact of the victory was very, very severe. Because if we would not have been able to capture that before, it could be a huge problem for us in the future. But unfortunately, while Vikram Batra was saving one of the members of his troop, he got shot in the chest by a Pakistani militant sniper. His death was a huge loss. It was a very sad moment for everybody in India. But still, he became an inspiration for everybody. It could be us, normal citizens, or the soldiers. Now, Vikram Batra was awarded by the highest military honor, which was the Parambir Chakra. He won this award on 15th of August 1999, and his father, Girdhari Lal Batra, took the award on behalf of his deceased son. From the President of India, late K. R. Narayanan. Now, let's talk about the legacy. So, he was also honored by several landmarks being named after him. One of those were a residential area in Jabalpur is named Vikram Batra Enclave. A service selection center hall in Allahabad is named Vikram Batra Enclave. And the uh, cadets mess of IMA is named Vikram Batra's mess. Now, these are some words which show his unshakable bravery. 
नहीं तो उसमें लिपट क्या होगा लेकिन आऊंगा जरूर हां Let's listen to some quotations that inspired all of us. First one is "Ye dil wange mo," which shows the thirst of victory in his heart and mind, and also the bravery. Other one is "I'll either come back hosting the tricolor or rapping it, but I'll come back for sure." This shows that he is ready to sacrifice everything for the motherland. It could be his life as well. So, by the time I conclude, I just want to say that he gives us inspiration to be courageous, have relentless bravery, and be ready to sacrifice our life for the motherland. At last, I just want to say thank you to everybody for giving their time and attention to listen to the story of one of the soldiers who sacrificed their life so that we can live safely. At last, thank you, Jai Hind.